Now, I'm not a runner. I still don't even really consider myself one, but I thought, I really want to test this idea of a fantasy goal because I know that I'd accomplished some success in my business or quite a lot of success, but I really wanted to challenge myself with this C-type goal in another area of my life um, and set a fantasy goal and put this to the test. I was like, what would be a fantasy goal for me? Something in my personal life. So I decided to run an ultra marathon across the Simpson Desert, it's the middle of Australia. I grew up in a tiny little town of just 100 people right in the centre of Australia. And I decided that I would run through my backyard. It was 250 kilometres over six days. In 2016, I decided to do it. Now, if it wasn't for this material, I would not have finished that event, but I was last. I absolutely was the back of the pack getting that done. So the next year I thought, I'm going to make a quantum leap here. I don't want to do that ev event again. I'm going to do the smaller 150 kilometres, but I'm really going to train for it. I'm really going to put all of this material into action. And not only last year did I run and win that event with only six months of training from zero. I started at zero kilometres. I could manage 20 minutes running around the block to running and winning a 150 kilometre ultra marathon across the Simpson Desert in the middle of Australia. And, and I was three weeks pregnant. <laughs> no, I didn't know that, but I had been gratituding and holding the picture. But the universe gives you when you're ready. You just have to decide on what you want and you will get what you want. So I've used it in that area of my life. I've used it with my family and my relationships.